Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at an addressable RGB controller kit from Speclux. Keep watching to find out more. Today we're going to be taking a look at an addressable RGB kit from Speclux. Now this is on Amazon at the moment for £18.99 of your earth pence, which in my opinion is actually a pretty good deal. If you're looking at RGB strips, normally the ones from the big brand manufacturers, you're looking at about £20 just for one strip. This kit contains two strips, a controller, and a host of extra accessories. So let's take it out of the box and take a look. So first of all, we get the strips. So you've got two addressable RGB strips, and that is just over about 14 inches long, with a little bit extra on the ends for the pass-through connectors. So you get two of those. And in the accessories, you get a looks like a self-adhesive strip and a RGB three-pin coupler. Next, we get a RGB three-pin to their custom three-pin connector, which is a quick-release connector, which is nice and handy for connecting these up. Nice and simple. Also, we get the three-button RGB controller with a SATA connection, which is great news. I'm so, so looking forward to the day that Molex finally does not exist on PCs anymore. So that is a good idea. Also, the cable on there has got quite a long extension by the looks of things. So if you're trying to do some nice tidy wiring, you've got probably getting on for about 18 inches worth of cable there, so you can hide that out of the way discreetly. Now the three buttons on the controller, you've got a kind of like an up and down button and a middle button. The middle button, press and hold it, that turns the strip on or off. And the other two buttons go between the different cycles of different colors, schemes, etc., stuff like that. In the static mode, you can press those buttons briefly and it will adjust the brightness of the LEDs. Now you don't have to use this controller. If you've already got an addressable RGB controller on your motherboard, then you can plug that straight in, no problem at all. But this is a handy little thing. So say for instance, you've got an older case, maybe a PC built in the last 20 years or so, you can still add addressable RGB to that chassis. So this cable is a another extension. So we've got on here probably, I'd imagine that's probably gonna be about another foot of extension. So yeah, near, nearly a foot of extension. So say for instance, you wanna run one of these strips at the top of your case and the other one at the bottom, you can use that down one of the verticals to connect the two up. And the last cable we get is a RGB to gigabyte RGB. A gigabyte motherboard, if you didn't already know, have a slightly different addressable RGB connector. So you're covered with this straight out of the box. Now this should work with pretty much every RGB manufacturer. This one's specifically for Gigabyte, but the other connectors work with things like Asus, ASRock, MSI, all those other kinds of brands. So you shouldn't find any problems connecting this up with your existing system if you've got one. Also in the box, you get a printed color guide, which goes through telling you how to set things up and also gives you some of the technical specifications such as voltage, amperage, all that kind of stuff. So best thing to do is to get this connected up to a power supply and see what it actually looks like. Now for this part of the testing, we're using a particularly old power supply just to illustrate the fact that even if your PC is kind of like 20 years old, as long as you've got a SATA connector, you're good to go. So the first thing we wanna do is to physically connect up one of these strips. So using the addressable RGB strip, that would plug into the controller. So for this, we need to make use of the RGB coupler. So again, with the strip, the extension lead you almost a foot of length there. So all we need to do is plug in the SATA connector. And there we go. We get a nice rainbow unicorn pute light. This is the default setting as soon as you turn it on. Looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead now and connect up another one of these strips. And there, as you can see, I don't know if you can quite make it out, the the digital aspect of addressable RGB basically makes it so that it continues the cycle. So as the color changes from one side of the strip, it carries on down into the next part of the strip. So you can get a better idea of how that kind of works out. Let's go through some of the modes on the button. So the middle button, when it's in this mode, you can choose RGB speeds. So you get the general idea. So let's go through some of the modes. So this is just like the chase mode. And you can speed that up. 
So there you can see the, uh, the chase mode working as it should do. So the LEDs kind of go around in a circular motion. Now with this actual controller, you can control two of these strips. If you're gonna be using the controller built into your motherboard, then normally you can use up to four of these strips. So say for instance, you've got one of those nice cases with a glass front, such as the Inwin, you could have a strip on all of the sides, both vertical, two horizontal, and have a complete circle of light chasing around. So let's take a look at some of the other options on this. So there's the unicorn one, you've got the color flow, the flash to different colors, that's a static. Then we've got flash in each color. And there's a kind of flash and dash sort of setup. If that's your thing, again, you can speed it up or slow it down with the remote control. So that's on the slowest setting. And you can do that in the various colors. And then we go into the kind of the multicolored setups. So if uh, yellow and pink is your thing, absolutely great yellow and blue, so if you're going for that kind of Miami look. Blue and pink is uh, quite, a, quite a sort of neon effect, I think. Then you've got like the fluorescent green and fluorescent pink, so like 1980s trainers. Red and white's pretty cool. And actually red and white would work with quite a lot of builds as well. So if you're going for like a monochrome type look, it may be like a Cooler Master case and you've got accents of red and you've got black and the white, that all looks really nice together. And you can speed it up so you can induce a seizure. And we've got green and white, blue and white, and then back to the unicorn puke. So there you go, that is pretty much it. Now the strips themselves have got uh, adhesive tape on the back of them, so 3M adhesive tape. There's also, uh, I think it's eight magnets actually in the strips themselves, so if you've got a, a metal surface you wanna attach it to, then that shouldn't be any problem at all. So that sticks to the metal quite nicely. The only thing is you probably have to kind of straighten them out a little bit before you do it because when they're sent to you, obviously they're curled up, so they tend to keep some of that curl for a little while. But if you flatten them out for a little bit, shouldn't be any problem at all. So there you go. There's a quick unboxing and a brief look at the Speclux Twin Strip ARGB kit. Like I said, $18.99 on Amazon at the moment. So if you're looking to add a little bit of bling to your build, this is certainly a really cost-effective option. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far, and I'll be doing a build with them very, very shortly. So, I've been Mike. This has been the Spectralux RGB kit, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.